Hi, I'm Todd Rosenbluth, and thanks for joining us for another episode of ETF 360. Today, I'm joined by Scott Helfstein, Executive Director of Thematic Investing at ProShares, and we're here to talk about Tolls, the ProShares Infrastructure ETF. Scott, thanks for joining me. Uh, appreciate it, Todd. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So it was recently Infrastructure Week, but this time during an inflationary period. Let's just talk about how infrastructure investments have done historically during inflationary times. That's a great question, Todd. And if we go back, the last time we saw inflation like this was in the late 70s and early 80s. And in 1981, Warren Buffett wrote a note to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders. And one of the things he highlighted was that companies should do well in inflationary environments if they can be price setters. And so that's really what infrastructure is. These are companies that own real assets that help to support us through energy transfer, that help to support the uh, energy utility grid, as well as communication networks. And those companies can increase prices over time to match the increase in commodity costs that they face. And if we go back over two cycles for 20 years, uh, where the average inflation rate during that time is two and a quarter percent, uh, infrastructure owners and operators have outperformed the S&P and the MSCI uh, by almost 100 basis points on a monthly basis. That's a 10 percent annual differential. That's interesting. So it, not only do we have a unique period where it's inflationary times, but the Fed is also raising interest rates, making it harder for advisors to find income. Do you have do you think there's income opportunities through infrastructure investments? We do. Uh, and so not only uh, is infrastructure good in a time of inflation, but uh, throughout the period since the financial crisis, where investors have been searching for yield, uh, infrastructure since 2014 has delivered uh, yields above uh, that of the uh, 10-year Treasury and the S&P 500. So 10-year Treasury, even with the big move that we've recently seen, uh, is just at 3%. It recently uh, uh, moved past the S&P 500 that had been at 2.5%, uh, roughly, but infrastructure is yielding you 4%. And it's been that roughly at that level uh, for now uh, about eight years. Now, when we're talking about above average income, there's always a focus on just cash flow stability and margins. Infrastructure companies have relatively stable cash flows and, 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 and stable operating margins. So that's a big concern for investors, whether we look at the war in Ukraine, the shutdown in China over COVID and all the challenges that that has delivered in supply chain. And really where that hits companies is in their margins. So the rate of producer price increase is actually at a record 70 plus year high to that of consumers. So as much as consumers are feeling this inflationary pinch, it's worse for producers. It's showing up in their margins. However, the infrastructure companies, the owners and operators, uh, and again, this is going back to 2014, uh, have had less volatility in their margins than the S&P 500, the S&P energy sector, uh, as well as the MSCI global index. So you're getting a stable set of margins, and they've also been consistently above that of those other indexes that I talked about, well, precisely because by owning the assets, uh, they've got control over services that are critical to the economy. So let's talk about tolls, the ETF from ProShares. How is it connected to this investment theme? And, and, and maybe let's share a little bit more about it. Sure. There are two ways that people can think about infrastructure. One is kind of the traditional picks and shovels. What do we need to build it? And so that tends to be things like heavy machinery and materials. Uh, very early cyclical type of investments. The other component, which is where Tolls focuses, is on the owners and operators. And so these are the people that actually own the transmission lines, own the energy pipelines, own the communication networks, own the water utilities, the things that we need to live, the things that we need to, for the economy to function. And so when we talk about spending on infrastructure, while the pick and axe group 
is perhaps the first ones to be rewarded, what you're ultimately doing is adding capacity to the owners and operators so that they can provide more of these services, critical services into the future. And so that's where Toll's focus is, and it makes it a, a unique product in the marketplace. Well, thanks, Scott. That's really exciting to be able to learn about it. Thank you for sharing information, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in to ETF 360. We'll see you next time.